So the first thing we want to do is uh, notice that we have 8 to the 2 thirds times 9 to the 1 half. So hopefully right off the bat, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, 9 to the 1 half, isn't that the same thing as the square root of 9? Indeed, it is. You want to be thinking about going from rational exponents to radicals and radicals to rational exponents. All right, so we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So uh, this part of the problem is not too difficult, but this part of the problem will be a little bit more interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get into the rest of this problem. So here, we know that the square root of 9, okay, is 3. And remember, the square root of 9 is the same thing as 9 to the 1 half. So we have our kind of brain uh, working in terms of looking for rational uh, exponents and thinking about a radical and then looking at a radical and thinking about a rational exponent. But our uh, original problem had 9 and 1 half. We know that's the square root of 9. And now we understand the principal square roots of the square root of 9 is 3. So now we just have to figure out what 8 to the 2 thirds power is equal to. And this is going to bring us to another property of powers and exponents. So remember, here we're talking about a radical. But as soon as we take that radical and we write it or express it as a rational exponent, then we can use all these lovely properties of powers and exponents. So uh, when you study algebra, you study these various uh, properties. Let me go ahead and just write a few here, a to the m times a to the n. So we're multiplying uh, powers with the same base. Uh, we are going to add the exponents. When we are dividing powers with the same base, we're going to subtract the exponents, the numerator exponent from the denominator exponent. And then when we're taking a power to another power, we have like a to the m to a to the n. That's equal to a to the m times n. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're going a little crazy here with all these properties. Well, these are things that hopefully you remember. Okay, these are the formal properties, formal properties, excuse me. But here uh, is an example of a property that we need here. So 2 to the third squared is equal to 2 to the sixth. Okay. Now, the property here that we are interested in using is a to the m to the n. So we have a power to the, an outside exponent. We could just multiply that outside exponent to the inside exponent. So 2 to the third is equal to 2 to the 3 times 2, or 2 to the 6. And this makes sense because what does 2 to the third squared means? Well, it means take 2 to the third and multiply it by itself. 2 to the third and 2 to the third means what? Well, that's three twos right there. And then we're going to multiply it by another three twos. And when we do this big product right here, we end up with six twos. So this property makes sense. But uh, the great thing about this particular property is that we can kind of use it uh, to break up a fraction like this. Okay, here we have a to the two thirds. And we can kind of factor out a two. Now, this is a little trick that you can use. and But we want to do this because we want to think of this 8 as 8 to the 1 third, not 8 to the 2 thirds. Okay, we want to think of this as 8 to the 1 third because 8 to the 1 third is what? Well, let's go back to what we learned about rational exponents and radicals. So 8 to the 1 third is the same as the cube root of 8. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means what number times itself gets us back to 8. And hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, I know the answer. It's 2. Indeed, it is. So we know that 8 to the 1 third is equal to 2. But here we have 8 to the 2 thirds. But maybe we can rewrite this in such a way where we can end up with 8 to the 1 third. And we can do that if we factor out this 2 up in the numerator. So we can write it this way, 8 to the 1 third. And we'll put the 2 outside here. And this is equivalent to 8 to the 2 thirds because we can always distribute that 2 back in uh, using this property right here. All right, so if you understand that, uh, this should be pretty easy uh, to solve. So 8 to the 2 thirds is the same thing as 8 to the 1 third squared. So I'm writing it this way just to kind of uh, keep you, um, you know, engaged with the relationship between rational exponents and radicals. So these two things are the same. So the cube root of 8 is what? Well, we just talked about that. The cube root of 8 is 2, right? So what number times itself 3 times is 8? Well, that is 2. So let's go ahead and figure out the rest of the answer. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. So the cube root of 8 is 2. So this right here really is the same thing as 2 squared, right? So the cube root of 8, again, is 2. And we're going to square that. So 2 squared is, of course, 4. 
And now we are basically done. So eight to the two thirds after doing all that work is four. Remember, we had nine to the one half, which is the square root of nine, which is three. So that is going to be three on this uh, side of this product. So four times three is of course 12. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.